So you saw me taking all those plants out of my display tank uh, a couple of videos ago, probably. I'm going to put the rest of the plants in one of my tanks down here. So I've rehomed, done some moving around with the fish, and I'm going to have a plants tank and just see if I can grow some plants. I've got this tank cleared out, um, just about anyway, I've got a bit more to do, and I've got my bucket of plants, so I guess it's just a case of moving them all across, and I'm going to do a bit of a water change first, and then we'll get started. So, to facilitate that, as I was digging around and moving things around, I found this in my garage, and this is a CO2 kit that I won ages ago. Um, it's a competition prize for another YouTuber, Psychedelic Babe. So, thank you for that. I'm sorry that I've never used it before, but uh, it's one of those things where I thought, ah, that'll be brilliant. Put it in a cupboard and then never looked in the cupboard again. And I came across it by chance, totally forgot that I had it. Um, but it's a complete CO2 kit uh, for an aquarium. So, inside you have... You have your CO2 canister. It says 500 on it, but I'm not entirely sure what that refers to. So, CO2 canister. We have the instructions. I'll come back to them. A load of airline. Um, what's this? Some fertilizers. Uh, a nice glass diffuser. go in the tank. It's quite nice the fact that you get a nice clear one. I don't know if it's glass or plastic. It's a ceramic diffuser and that's in the tank. I've got the, I'm assuming this is the regulator that goes on top of the, the tank itself. That's just on the Allen key for dialing that in no doubt. Um, some more fertilizers. I've done fertilizers already. Daily fertilizer, I guess these are the normal once a week or once a month fertilizers. Dogs, shut up. Just got the CO2 test kit here and a bubble counter, I imagine. And a CO2 plus pH. Not sure what that's for. But I thought as I'm going to have a specifically dedicated plants tank, there'll still be a few fish in there. Um, we get the CO2 out and have a go at it. Now, I, as I've said many times before, I'm not a planting tank expert, so I will be consulting the manual and making sure that I try and dial this in, but my understanding of it so far is that you've basically got a relationship between your KH and pH which determines how much CO2 you want to add to kind of try and find that sweet spot. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what those values are, but I'll do some reading up and then when we try and get this set up in the tank, um, I'll bring you up to speed. But yeah, that's a great kit. It's the Pro Flora U504. Kind of everything you need to get started with CO2 without having to go away and bodge DIY stuff together. Um, no idea how much it is, but I'll leave a link to it. If they still sell this on Amazon, you can check it out. Uh, and if you like what you see, you can go and get one for yourself. But let's move along to trying to set it up. The installation instructions say you basically start from the back. Uh, so this is the last thing. This is where the CO2 gets distributed through your tank. This is the diffuser. It says install that and then work your way back to the tank, ultimately. So it says diffuser airline, bubble counter, test, regulator. So let's give that a go, get this out and give it a rinse. It is. So this is it in its most basic form. We've got the canister, we've got the CO2 canister here, the regulator on top, that just screwed in dead simply. We've got the bubble counter and then here we have the diffuser, which sits in the tank. And it really is as simple as that. So they give you shed loads of air lines. So this can definitely sit, if you have like a display tank here, this could definitely sit underneath or away from it. And you could run the lines 
from quite a distance away, really. Um, so there's plen plenty of the air line or the, the gas line, as I suppose it is, that comes with it. Um, so you, it's simple as it says in the instructions. The, the one thing I like about JBL stuff is they always come with really comprehensive instructions. You can't get it wrong. They cover everything and they, they make it for a, a simpleton like me, easy to understand. Um, so hook it all up and th this is as good as it, this is as simple as it gets. Um, we have a little valve here which turns the gas on. Down the bubble counter you then see the bubbles coming through. And you can dial that in by turning this valve, tweaking it as you need to, to get the amount of bubbles that you want per second. And then in the diffuser, if you can see that, you get the little tiny micro bubbles coming through. And this has reminded me why I had it in the cupboard for so long, because there's no way to manually, there's no way to automatically control this. So what I really need to do is to look into some kind of solenoid valve that goes in here that I can attach a timer to, so I can leave this on all the time, and then have the solenoid switching it on to match the same schedule as the lights. Because what you don't want to do is run this when the tank lights are off. You only really want to run the CO2 when you've actually got the lights on and it can be used up by the plants efficiently. Otherwise you can cause more damage. If you run CO2 at night time, then that can lead to lack of oxygen and all kinds of things, which you don't really want to encounter. But this is all covered in the manual of the, the stuff, the, the kit here. Um, so you won't go wrong if you buy the manual and just follow the instructions really. But for the moment, what I'll do is I will set this every time, because I know the lights come on in a schedule, the lights are on a timer, so when I know they're coming on, I can come down and turn this on. Um, but JBL themselves actually make an attachment for this that's got the solenoid and the timer and a proper regulator and all that. So if you wanted to, you can go and buy that or you can get the DIY version and just attach it into this line somewhere. So that's it, it's up, it's running, it's ready, it's good to go. What I need to do now is figure out exactly how much of this I should be adding, which means I need to test the water in here. I'll just turn this off just now. Which means I need to test the water in here, find out what the parameters are at, and then find out what level of CO2 I want to aim for, because this kit also comes with um, uh, uh, measurements, so I can uh, monitor for the CO2, so I can see what values I need to aim for. So let's go back upstairs. So this takes us then into the realm of trying to figure out how much CO2 to add. Now, as I slightly mentioned before, there's a relationship between CO2, hardness or alkalinity of the water, and the pH. So there's a scale, I'll put a picture up here, that says if you have a certain pH and a certain alkalinity, then there's a certain value to aim for for CO2. And that's more of a, a safe zone to go for. Um, if you want, if you've got no livestock and you just have plants, then you can ramp it up even more. If you've got loads of livestock, you don't really have a very heavily planted tank, then you might want to ramp that down to the lower levels. Now this kit again came with the the CO2 measuring kit, which is this little thing here it's called a a drop checker in some cases. And that little bottle that I mentioned earlier, um, that's the reagent in here. So this goes in the tank, you put 35 drops of this liquid in here. And depending on the levels you've got in your aquarium, it also gives you this handy little chart that if you get in the sweet spot, then you're happy and everything's good. So it's a nice little visual indicator. It does need to be re replaced every month or so, I think it said. Um, but essentially, whenever you're doing your regular aquarium maintenance, refill that. This kit came with two of those bottles, so that should last plenty of time. And I'm very much not trying to do a how to use CO2 in your aquarium video right now. It's more just about me setting this up, having a look at this kit. Um, there's another YouTuber, another channel called uh, The Water Box, who's just done a fairly recent in-depth review of how to use CO2, so I'll put a link to that up here, or up here, I never remember which. Um, definitely go and check that out, uh, it's really good, it's really in-depth, it covers all the angles and everything you can think of, so 
definitely worth it. Um, but I just want to sign off there and say, if you want to dip your toes into the world of CO2, then this is really a pretty good way to go about it. You can't get much wrong as long as you follow the instructions. Um, if you look at any of the forums out there about people who have done this with DIY, there's kind of be kind of two camps to go with where you go for the DIY version of getting some yeast and having the slow release that way or trying to build something your own with the kind of fire extinguisher and there's always lots of scare stories and horror stories about when it does a final dump of CO2 into your tank and kills everything or it just fails and goes horribly wrong for one way or another. If you buy a kit you're probably not going to experience that. Um, it's a little bit more expensive but swings and roundabouts as they say. You pay your money, you take your chance. I would definitely recommend this kit. Um, I totally forgot I had it. I do need to, if I want to use it in the way I want to use it, I do need to get some kind of automatic um, solenoid valve or regulator or some kind of kit that the people that make it themselves sell. Um, but if I get that, that would be absolutely perfect. Um, I've been using this for a few days now in the fish room downstairs since I shot the earlier parts of this. And for the first time ever I'm starting to see pearling on the plants uh, and I've never seen pearling before. It's a completely new experience to me. And so it definitely does make a difference. And if you get it right, the growth that I'm seeing, even though, I'm a, like I say, I only use this for about three or four days now, I've seen plants, some of the stem plants that I've got in that tank at the moment, they've grown well over two inches in only three or four days. So it, it does make a big difference. Um, and I've not even got that good a set of lights on that tank, so that's my that's my introduction to CO2. Um, I'll bring you more videos on this as time goes on, as I start to dial in how I'm using it. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If you have found it useful, click that subscribe button, check out all the links in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.